Внимание! Good morning. This is Tempo Africa TV's Beyond the Headline show, and I'm your host, Petros Haile. Today, uh, we have a special guest, Dr. Ndaga Mokabuta. I hope I said it right. And uh, to help me with the interview, I have uh, Josiah Kivira. He's a filmmaker. And uh, if you don't mind, would you be able to introduce the doctor for me? And we'll go from there. Yes, yes. Uh, and you ask that I speak this in Swahili, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah, Karibuni Watazamaji, Leo Tuna Mgeni Marufu, Dr. Ndaga, Namfaham Wengi, Ni. Uh, raisi wa jumuiya yetu wa Tanzania katika diaspora uh, anakuja kama mgeni kwenye Tempo Afrika Tempo Afrika tunawakaribisha wa Tanzania na watu kutoka Afrika Mashariki kwa sababu ni e, TV ambayo iko uh, online ambayo iko based hapa Minnesota na leo tun, tunemkaribisha uh, mgeni wetu atuambie mambo kuhusu hii jumuiya wa Tanzania katika diaspora karibu Thank you. Uh, now we're going to have a regular host on Swahili. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, yes, <coughs> uh, Dr. Ndaga uh, Mokabuta is by profession is an analytical engineer and he's also the president of DICOTA, which is Diaspora Council of Tanzanians in America. It's a non profit organization. Yep. Uh, <coughs> Could you tell us how this Dakota uh, organization started and the uh, purpose a little bit, then we'll go to the, the, the other questions. Sure, Just sure. Give us an introduction. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. So as you said, Dakota is the Aswa Council of Transanians in America. And it is formed in 2009, but the idea came in the year 2008, whereby few individuals or Tanzanians in America from all over the country. Mm -hmm. They sat together and they, s they kind of find the best ways on how to save themselves and they going back to Tanzania and help their country to, to develop. So the after, after being incorporated in Minnesota, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it was just randomly selected to be Minnesota, it could be any other, any other state, as okay. it is for all Tanzanians in all over the, the country. So the purpose is to mobilize to call upon together all Tanzanians that they are in the U.S. to come together for to end with the ideas on how to develop themselves and go back to develop the country of Tanzania. Okay. And by doing that, that we are sustaining and enhancing the relationship between Tanzania and the U.S. Oh yeah, the, the, you're connecting the link between the two yep. places. Yep. And uh, <coughs> I also believe that it's uh, non-sectarian. That's true. Uh, what does it mean? What yeah, so we, we, are not, uh, we are not bound by any sector, any political affiliation, any religion. So we are ourselves, we want to do everything good for everything. Okay. So by just by not being affiliated or connected or bound by anything, it means you can be free to exercise what okay. you think is good for, our, for ourselves okay. as well for our country in Tanzania. Okay. Uh, <coughs> If, if you don't mind, I'll just read the vision, then help me out with that sure. one. Uh, it's firmly grounded in the belief of a democratic, non-theocratic, mm -hmm. culturally and economically inclusive Tanzania. Right. Uh, how do you, un you know, interpret this with the reality in Tanzania? How do you connect that? 
I know in that green room we right. were talking about uh, uh -huh. having uh, a diaspora representative yeah. in, uh, in right. Tanzania. Right. If you can tell us a little bit. Sure, about sure. Is is number one is all about everything that it touches us, everything that we do to develop ourselves and and the country of Tanzania. So it's from that's why we, we not not being bound by anything it means we can talk and discuss about anything we can engage anybody mm -hmm. and at the same time using the the official governments like uh, the government that we have for example here in minnesota in the country federal government mm -hmm. as well as Tanzanian government with their their s with their conne connections to, to us to, to all the, the links around it and okay also we can this since we are as i said we're not bound we we can discuss anything that is whatever matter that we are involved with and anything that is going to be beneficial for, mm -hmm. for, for the country. Okay. Uh, you, yeah. uh, like, uh, <coughs> officially, you have one representative which is not declared openly, right? Right. So, so, so for example, yeah. when we, we are doing the Tanzania Constitution Review, there were a special parliament that we are, w which involved the normal member of parliament as mm -hmm. well as the special groups. So Tanzanian diaspora in the U.S. was one of the special group that mm -hmm. we had one representative okay. who went there to represent our needs on what we want to see okay. for the new constitution. Yeah. Such as uh, dual citizenship. Uh, right. No. So issue of citizenship. Yeah. Our birth rights. We are discussed with salary. And at least now, if the draft that we have is going to pass, it will be part of the constitution, which was ne never there before. Okay. So okay. It's, it's a good and great achievement for us to reach to that stage, and we 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 are thankful to the government to allow us to be part of it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. Uh, just so that representative right. wonder. So, is that a pam? What is that? Is that is that a um, parliamentary seat? What is it? What, okay. Yeah. What, it's it's you to just one t one time. Yeah. Because that 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 session for par for for the constitution review, it just happens once. Okay. Yeah. They, they now, as, as I'm speaking, it's, it's done. It's done. Yeah. Oh. But yeah. But at least we were able to be part of it and the using our network because it we are talking with with him all so the time. I, I guess what I'm getting at, Ndaga, right. um, how would the agenda be carried forward, right? So this is, this was a one time right. talking about the you know including the mm -hmm. let's say the issue of dual citizenship right how would this agenda be carried forward okay so the next steps that are coming is going to be having the so called referendum yep. whereby all Tanzanians are going to be involved to vote for the draft and it from there they are going to come up with a police paper that is going to be taken to the parliament normal parliament to discuss and pass it via constitution okay so still we are we 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 we'll be engaged in that as well. So in, for example, in coming up with the white paper, yeah, we are putting an eye very close to the president president's office, mm -hmm. yeah, and we are we are told that once it's going to be ready for us to to send us our, our inputs, yeah, we we, we do so. To make you. sure that every uh, all our matters are, are going to be included in the constitution. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Okay. Uh, another thing is since two thousand nine, you've had about four or five of them. <coughs> Conventions, conventions, annual Part conventions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, is there a special theme for each convention? Right. Uh, yes, okay. What right. are they? Okay. So the first one was more about the organization itself. It was more of making the constitution for the organization, our bylaws. It's like only on what platform we should be performing our activities, and how to carry to carry on with our with our agenda, Wh how and where to operate. That that's what the main about the focus. So it was more of introducing the organization to Tanzanians, okay, and and make sure that everybody know the the mission, objective, and the goals. What you, what we are aspiring to do as Tanzanians in America. So the second one was in Minnesota, and it was the the, the theme was unleashing the diaspora potential. Okay, and although we discussed more about the agricultural sector, we call it Krimo Kwanza in Tanzania. So we, we with our country development, we know for sure we depend more on agriculture to develop. And the, if you be able to feed ourselves and export it, means that's how we can develop our country. And uh, after that, we uh, the, the the following was the front convention in yeah. 2011 it was in Washington D.C. At the same time, we were also celebrating 50 years of our independence. Okay. Yeah, mm. and we were able, we are great, we are gracefully able able to have a president of Tanzania. To 
come to be our guest of honor. Wow, okay. And, okay. and, the, and since we have the, also that celebration, so it was the, the theme was Tanzanian diaspora after 50 years. So it was one of the most attended convention and we were able to discuss and see what, how far we, we, we have come yeah, in okay. terms of development since independence and see what we can do after that. Yeah, so then in 2012, we had another convention in Chicago. In Chicago, so, yeah. yeah. So it was more about citizenship, citizenship relationship, and that's where and when we had the time to have our representative in the Constitution Review and have discussions on how, what are our, our birthrights, oh, okay. what, we can, yeah, it's a, what we can do to gain back if, for example, somebody came here and become U.S. citizenship. And uh, how you can still contribute to the development cool. of, of our country, and and uh, the, of course, uh, somebody being born in Tanzania, it mm. is his or her right. Oh, yeah. He is Tanzanian yeah. by by being born. By birth, yeah. So so you can you you cannot take away that. So what you are trying to make a point is to see how you can still continue, and you can do more if you you are connected. Connected. But if if by any chance you lose that. Uh, that title being a citizen of that country, you, you are discouraged to do anything for that country. So it's pretty much the dual citizenship yes, issue was, was discussed yep. there. Yep. Okay. Yep. And uh, last year in North, North, Carolina, North Carolina, yes, that we did, uh, we have another convention. That was mainly about how we can succeed in not only here, also in Tanzania. So oh. bringing back the dev development to ourselves into the to the country. Tanzania, Tanzania yeah. and uh, the, the, in, in the, the diaspora, diaspora community. Yep. Uh, yeah. So in now next year, mm. we uh, are going to have another convention in okay. Dallas, Texas. Yeah. And this year is going to be how linking, leveraging the Tanzanian capacity. Okay. Uh, yeah, linking growth, prosperity, and opportunity. Yeah. So it's the same thing again, to see how our capacity can be leveraged. Leveraged. And also spill over. Okay. 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 This is great. Jo yeah, yeah, go so ahead. I wanted to give uh, Ndaga an opportunity, mm -hmm. you know, to talk to the potential members right. like me. Right. I know I haven't joined, uh -huh. uh, but if you can look at the, the you know, the, your membership, <coughs> prospective members, right, uh, about this big event. I mm -hmm. understand it's a very big event. Uh -huh. I know that you can tell us who is the guest and. Mm -hmm. So give 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 the people the details uh, okay. where to go. I right. know you have it on the website. You right. Know, what, how long? Yani mm wavutie. -hmm. Um, right. As we say, yeah. I get you. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So to all Tanzanians, and basically we say Tanzanians and their friends or friends of Tanzania. So we have big event coming, and this convention is 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 where we are going to meet and connect with the all people. From from Tanzania and their friends, mm -hmm. and and basically is not only networking sessions. So you go there and meet and mingle and kind of share ideas, but many also discuss on what we have we as Tanzanians that in in, in America, what you can do together and what what can can can, can amount mm -hmm. to our successes not only here also mm -hmm. in, in Tanzania, and and this year we are going to have very special session. It's yeah. only guests pre session. So we are going to discuss more about uh, how, with the introduction of, of gas in Tanzania, how that can be part of uh, kind of moving forward in terms of development, how gas can help us develop more and faster. Hmm. And, and uh, since uh, we are going to do the convention in, in Texas, uh, in Dallas, where it's like uh, they are famous in terms of what, what they've yeah. been doing for centuries in oil and gas. Yeah. So we are going to kind of tap and, and share the experiences, move ahead, yeah. Not, yeah. not to invent the wheel, to see where are the success stories and mm. tell those stories to our country and develop ourselves. Uh, on, that, on that note, uh, you're right. In a lot of African countries, when they discover oil, mm -hmm. uh, be, again, based on what kind of system that you have, right. <coughs> they end up in what they call a uh, resource curse. Right. You know? yeah. right. And they do not know how to allocate it to the people mm -hmm. and use it. So you think uh, Dakota will play a very constructive role in uh, not necessarily managing, but giving the government advice? Yes, I do. And uh, maybe uh, it's worth mentioning one thing here. Okay. So the managing director of TPDC, which is Tanzania Petroleum Development Corporation, mm. is one of our former members of diaspora. He was taken from us. And uh, as, I say, uh, as I said before, we were asked to be, to be engaged in the development of Tanzania. 
So and one of the things is to have our resources, our financial and the intellectual capital sure. to be used for the development of our country. So we, we were able, I can say, mm -hmm. to, to have someone from our, our, our diaspora yeah. to go and lead that very important organization in Tanzania. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, he, he is going to be part of the convention. Okay. He's going to be part of that pre-session. And we, we, with that, we, we are sure he, he was here. Okay. And he was okay. managing at a very senior level the one of the oil, oil, I can say, oil company in here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So he does have that experience. Okay. And okay. given that he's Tanzanian, he, yeah. he knows w how we can move faster based on the experiences and, the, and what needs to be done to get it done in, in a more correct and focused way. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah. Go ahead. I, I want to I yeah. ask him back on that yeah, and uh, to break it down to the, uh, I guess, the advantages of, of being the membership. Right. Uh, I think this is one of the. I was waiting for something big like this. Okay. I didn't know. Right. Um, so, I guess this comes from what you're talking about mm -hmm. networking. Right. Uh, but you have to be at the convention mm -hmm. to reap these benefits, right? Because, That's very true. You know, maybe this guy who is a current president of the TPDC, mm -hmm. as you said, was just a member who went to a convention right. and, and get you know see where he is. Uh -huh. So I I want to bring you back on that again to right. talk about how you can motivate people to uh, find the real uh -huh. uh, advantage okay. of, of not only being the member but attending such an event. Right. Yeah. So number one, we have the saying that you, you have to build, it, to build a bridge before you can cross it. Yeah. So it is part of being, pa being in the, at the convention, you're bu building those bridges. So by, by, by being a member, you are, ex you are ex you're going to be exposed to a lot of opportunities. Right. And it can be something that is not for only that time that you're at that convention, yeah. but it can be something for, for your future. Yeah. And, if, and if knowledge is power. By just knowing that this is, this is what is out there itself is going to equip you on, on a, to prepare for the opportunities that are coming. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, yes, Dr. Mataraji, who is the managing director of TPDC, was in our last convention, and at that time he was able to to meet with the, the chief secretary, mm -hmm. Ambassador Ombeni Sefour, who who basically kind of interviewed him to see if he's going to fit, and it, it was not only him; there are also a number of other candidates who were there wow. mm -hmm. at, the, at mm -hmm. the convention, and that just is just one thing. It's like other things are there. We have like, for example, our own Dr. Chris Misemakura. Yeah, and we all know that he's now having a very big. Uh, center clinic in, yeah. in, in, in Tanzania. And uh, the, to get to that level wouldn't have been possible if we wouldn't be me we would have been member of the Dakota. Yeah. So Dakota is kind of open, is enabling people and opening the doors for, for, the, for them. So it's up to you now to see how you can totally engage into, 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 into the membership, yeah. I can say. Yeah. How together you, we can see the opportunity and see how we can mobilize and go into those opportunities. Good, good. So, so break it down for me. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I have my job here right. and I, I know about the convention. Uh -huh. So break it down for me. What, what are the steps? Tim, I know you got big ideas. Right. <laughs> Just want to right. break it down for a normal person. For, for a normal person. What will it take you uh -huh. know, for them to be there? What shall they bring? Shall they bring the resume? Uh -huh. Shall they bring the suit with uh -huh. them? Uh -huh. you know, just break it down for us. Sure, sure. So, so number one, you, if you want to register for the convention, go to our website, which is www.dakotaus.org. Yeah. So you go there in the front page, you will see all the information about the convention. You click register. And the, the cost is 149 for members mm -hmm. and 169 for non-members. And that is everybody cost. After that, it's going to be added $50 for each category. So now, once you re register, so it means you're going to do the, for the travel arrangements. Yeah. It's 100% it's professional convention, for professional meeting. Yeah. So everything is well organized and uh, you are going to get all the information just before you go there. And this, this year we are going to come up with the, an app, which is already there, but it, it doesn't have information, that's why it's not shared to, to yeah. members. So in that app, you're going to get time even to, to connect and network with the people before even the meeting. Nice. So everybody who's, who is registered is going to be part of the, that uh, app, yeah. and uh, you can start discussing about the, the topics and the, what ca is going to be discussed in the, in, in, in the meeting. And, and when you are there, you, like in the first day, which is Thursday, is 100% for networking. 
So you, you will be able to connect and access people that are not readily available to be accessed. Can, can you give an example of those people? Yeah, so we, like this year we, yeah. we, we have a confirmation from Mohamed Delj, yeah. one of very, f I can say, famous and the po very, who made it through, I can say, in Tanzania, businessman. Yeah. So he's going to be there as our keynote speaker and he's going to discuss on how he, get, how he himself is at that level. How, how did he get to that level? Yeah. That's one. Also, we are going to have one of the CNN, CNN anchor, and he's going to be there to interview to interview him. Wow. So I, I just I, I don't I cannot recall the name, but he's going to be there. And yeah. All the information is going to be shared soon. Yeah. And again, he, although people they, they always think that when we invite somebody like a president of Tanzania to our meetings, he's a politician, but to us we invite him as uh, the CEO, the the one in charge of the the development of the country and we know for sure if you are going to speak with him and it we, 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 is easier to get the, the, the access of something to be to get done yeah as an example for us if we would be engaged with the government would you get op an opportunity for one of our members to be part of the pr pr primary session that we are reviewing the constitution yeah. so for, for us so, so long as we are, we are we are looking for something that to be done and we are looking for something that to go in the proper channels. So we cannot do that without involving the government. Yep. So we are planning to invite the president of Tanzania, regardless of political affiliation. Yeah, yeah, or yeah. As I said, we are, we are not in any, in any, any sector or, or mm. political right, party. Right, right. Mm. So by, by president being there, and also we are going to invite the private sector as, 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 as it is. So with those, they are going to be able to connect with the with the with the counterpart in, in the US. Yeah. All of the opportunities of doing business together, investment and the see what you we, we can do. And uh, some 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 things people they learn in the convention, that's where they get an idea. Oh, maybe I can do this because it's possible to do that in that kind of settings. Good. You have answered my question. Mm, yes. <laughs> oh, no, that's, that's great. In fact, uh, this is very interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're bringing the president as a CEO. Right. Not as, a, as a political leader, that's, that's correct. and from your end mm -hmm. of perspective, it makes sense. Okay, but is that how he's going to look at it? Is another question. Right, you don't have to answer. Okay. <laughs> uh, earlier, when we discuss uh, one of the things that is uh, special in diaspora community is the insurance issue. Right. Yeah. Traditionally, mm -hmm. here in diaspora community, mm -hmm. uh, when somebody pass passes away, right. what we do is we get together mm -hmm. and we everybody pitch in. Right you know, whatever money, mm -hmm. then. But you introduced a very unique concept right. that may be a model for the rest of Africa. Do you mm -hmm. mind talking about it a little bit? S sure, sure. Okay. Yeah, so the, the scheme is called the study, Yeah. And it, it was developed with us because it was the idea that was from the diaspora. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so there is National Social Security yeah. Fund in Tanzania, and they are doing that in Tanzania for, for their members. So we, we approached them and we discussed and we see if we can be part of it in t because that's one of the problems that people in diaspora are facing. Yeah. Whenever one of us passed away, mm -hmm. so we have to mobilize, we have to do the fund. Uh, I, I, I have to cut you, sir. I think yeah. we, we have somebody on the line. Uh, hi, are you calling for the show uh, with Indaga? Hello? Someone on the phone? Yeah. Okay. You can continue. Okay. okay. So I, I, I can go to explain it. So, okay. so Dakota did a survey, mm -hmm. which was fully paid by NSSF to see what are the needs and who peop, how many people would be willing, what, how are we doing now? So based on those information, they came up with the, the package. Okay. okay. So that package is only $300. You pay for, for the year. Okay. And it's going to cover the following. Number one, if you have your remains, it's going to be transported to Tanzania for burial. So it's either Tanzania or, or here or mm -hmm. another country yep. from the, the diaspora. Now, number two, if you travel to Tanzania, you and your spouse, you're going to be having insurance coverage out there. If you get sick or if your wife or if your husband gets sick, it's going to be treated and be paid for. In Tanzania. In Tanzania. Okay. And also on top of that, you, are, you can select four members of your family in Tanzania they're going to have, to have medical insurance for only $300. So, and so far he's doing good. Mm -hmm. Although again, members yeah. who are already subscribed, they're not that many, yeah. but we are going to keep on telling people 
about the benefits and if everybody is, see, is seeing firsthand what how we do benefits. now and yeah. how is it not helping us how is it breaking us in addition you said you can also allow one person to accommodate yes Take so part the of body. the when you, when your body is going to be transport Tanzania one person is going to be to be escorting be yeah. together with the body remains and that all the that cost of that air ticket is going to be covered by the same insurance yeah. thank you thank you for reminding me so that. i want to make sure i understand or make a clarification there sure um to be a member of west study mm -hmm. you don't need to be a member of the court that's correct right i mean it's it's it but 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 are, are there additional Benefits because you are a member of Dakota that you get from the Western, maybe. No, so 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 we start. We so we we just help to develop the product. Oh, you are, okay. Yes. So for us, we are we are going to, because we know the benefit. We are the one kind of put the put all the necessary input to the to the to, to the scheme. Yeah. So since we know the benefit, we one of our job is to tell everybody, hey, this is a good thing, and it's going to benefit us all. Okay. So, assuming, for example, all diaspora members, they, they are members of the, the, they were started. So, whenever one of us passed away, we will meet not not to contribute. We will meet there just to see how better we can do without even contributing a cent. Yeah. Well, that's good. W yeah. Which, Petros, if you don't mind, go ahead. You know, it speaks of the broader issue, mm -hmm. which I'm not aware of. Right. But thank God we have you here today. Mm -hmm. Talk about the, the membership. Right. Um, you know, talk about in terms of numbers. Are we, right. how many are we? Right. What's the breakdown? Mm -hmm. Which state has more people? Mm -hmm. And kind of like an analysis, uh, and and not to to point out the the negatives, but mm -hmm. maybe mostly the, the positive. Like right. how are we growing? Right. How do you see it as a second term president of uh -huh. Dakota? Are we growing? Can right. Speak in terms of numbers. Okay. Okay. So I, I would say yes, we are we are growing. And we are more known now, nowadays compared to when we, we, we started. That's number one. Number two, when we do our conventions, we normally do not in one city. We do in many, every, every year we go for another city. Okay. Every other year we go for another city. So we started in Houston, Texas. Then we came to Minnesota okay. in 2010. Then we went to D.C. area, Washington, D.C. area. Then Chicago. Last year we were in Durham, North Carolina. And the next year we'll be in Dallas. All right. So, so uh, I'm not going to put you on the spot. Right. Can you tell me the numbers of, um, and if tell me if you don't know, you don't know. I mean, you didn't, we yes. didn't give you. So I, I would like say. Ma <laughs> membership. <laughs> what right. Is, what is the number of the membership? We are members? talking about 500 plus or minus. Okay. And those who say active members. Okay. And, and uh, the, this, the, well, in the explaining all those areas, I want to, to point out one thing. Yeah. So when you go to do convention, for example, in Minnesota, we normally work with the local committee. So which you is going to be local members of that committee, we incorporate them to work together to come up with a convention. Okay. So right now, for example, in Dallas, we're working with the Tanzania Committee of Dallas. So the local members, they are, they are part of the steering committee. Yeah. So in, in every city we go, it means every, whenever you go to any new city, we are going to get new members. And now the attendance depends on how far it is for, for members. So for example, if you're in Minnesota, going to Texas can be very far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we are going to have less number of people from Minnesota to Dallas, for example, next year, as compared to number of people from Minnesota Dallas. to Chicago. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so we're going to have, we normally have more members locally and the cities around that area we are doing the the convention. I see. And the, 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 so the numbers keep on increasing, but the active membership is kind of 500 plus or minus because okay. of that. And to us, when you say active member, somebody who paid. Thirty dollars a year for single member, or fifty dollars for family member, which is one somebody with a spouse. Right. Yeah. So, but but generally the awareness is out there. People knows what is Dakota and knows the mission why why Dakota is there. Right. And, and with that, it means we are making progress. Okay. Thanks. That that's what I was looking for. Even though I, I'm not going to press you anymore, you said five hundred <laughs> plus, uh, yes. plus or minus. Plus or minus. That's two thousand fifteen. Yeah. You know. So right. I was trying to compare with to quantify right. your 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 statement that we're growing. Right. So mm -hmm. I was looking for five hundred, okay, compared to three hundred two thousand fourteen and mm -hmm. you know, that kind of thing. But that's right. fine. Okay. But as a member, that thirty dollar uh -huh. um a year, right, what what do they get out of that? What, what are the and benefits? then flip side of it, mm -hmm. 
maybe you can talk about the expenses that you have sure. for your organization. Mm-hmm. Sure. Because I know mm-hmm. what Tanzania, they're probably saying, uh, what is my money doing? Right. So mm-hmm. can right. you talk about that? Sure, yeah. Number one, there's one thing that I didn't mention before. So we do have nowadays the Tanzanian diaspora. And uh, to be a member of that Tanzanian diaspora database, mm-hmm. to, to be in that database, you don't need to be active member of the ICOTA because we are looking for the numbers. Whenever we, for example, we look for any help from World Bank or USDA, they are, the first question is how many are you? Who are you? Who, who is where? When doing what? Okay. So to get all those information, we, we found out we need to have a database. So we do have a database. And if you are a member of the ICOTA, it's going to be one level advantage. You'll be able to search for other members. Okay, and uh, for example, if you are an electrical engineer, if you want to see how many other engineers are in Minnesota to start with, or how many are in Texas, there's this thing is happening somewhere. Maybe I need to do with somebody. So you'll be able to look and see who I can do with. It's about, about networking. So it's one advantage of being a member of, 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 of the ICOTA. The other advantage is whenever we do conversion like this, our pricing is reduced because of that. So, for example, if you're a member, I'm going to pay only 149 for the convention. For the convention, if you're a non-member, you're going to pay more. Right. Yeah, and also we are we we not yet there, but we are planning to have the portal whereby some if for if for opening of the jobs. So, so for example, if one company want to recruit somebody, so they, they they can post the job to our database, and if you're a member, you'll be able to see that job. You can apply for it. And also the company that they're interested to tap the from the, from our diaspora, they are going to go through the same channel. So it's an advantage if you are in the database and your member, you're going to be able to access those op- opportunities and see how you can do. So the same way as when you grow, when, when you're going to, they're going to be at the level that we are envisioning yeah. to have projects, do a lot of things. All those projects will be competed, will be uh, announced, will be in the our database for the members only. Okay. Yep. Good. That 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 makes a lot of sense. Mm-hmm. So uh, you know, just to tell the uh, the people who haven't joined, uh, you can see as Indaga is saying, there there are really tangible benefits for being a member. Uh, as you can see, um, I was thinking that you know, for the young guys, this you know, who knows, you can find a girlfriend uh, in the database. <laughs> uh, but uh, <laughs> he didn't mention that. I'm just thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, Adam. Okay, uh, well, pretty much the same question, but I always, uh, I'm always curious. Sure. Uh, to organize a project like this, uh-huh. uh, especially we have some cultural hindrance. Right. You know? uh, we're not uh, ready to accept. Tanzania may be a lot better than the other African countries. Okay. I would say because of the stability for so long. Mm-hmm. But uh, was it difficult to influence people to be part of the project? Yeah, it's yes and no. Yes and no, okay. Yeah, yes and no in, in, in terms of, because at the end of the day is how people they can how people can afford, right? Okay. Yeah, so for, what uh, that's why even the pricing is still very low. So when we started, it was about uh, $50, the first mm-hmm. convention. Mm-hmm. The next one was $100, then it came to 150 And we never increased that value. Okay. And why we did not increase the value? Because we know most people, they are, they, they can maybe they cannot afford. Okay. And you have seen the numbers. So whenever you, you, you put a very high value, you end up getting very, very, very small number of people, which is not what you, you want to do. Okay. And, and again, that, that's $149. It covers only 60% of the, the total cost to, to host the, the, that meeting. Okay. So the other 40% we are, we are normally getting from the sponsors. So we have different levels of sponsors. So when you go to our website, you're going to see all the categories. So you have sponsor from five hundred dollars to fifteen thousand. Okay. Yeah, and every sponsorship level is having its own benefits the, that, that that goes along with the yeah. sponsorship levels. And the, all like all those pension funds, mm-hmm. I can say the uh, Bank of Tanzania, CRDB Bank in Tanzania, and all the the companies of t- diaspora in in the U.S. They are the sponsors. And, okay. uh, and if you sponsor, you get time slot to speak about your services and the product in the convention and w- which is kind of you're going to market yourself to mm-hmm. the very mm-hmm. captive audience 
that they are not only from that city; they are all over all over the country. Country, okay. And and, and most of the time, you also stream streamline live the conventions. So even if for people who are not coming to the convention, they'll be able to see what hap- what is happening. Okay. But again, okay. it's always different being there live mm-hmm. and watching over the television or over yeah. the internet. So, okay. Ndaga, I wanted to ask you. Sure. Uh, you know, you you spoken very eloquently mm-hmm. for the companies that are from um, Tanzania, right? right? Mm-hmm. And I've seen in, in in your sponsorship page, I think you have some some companies that are from here, right? The New York. Right, insurance company. Mm-hmm. So, can you speak a little bit about the? I think there is another advantage because there are some local American companies right. that are partnering with you, mm-hmm. and uh, I think that can speak more to the members who are here. Right. What What are the companies, and um, you know, what are the goals that you have for for this year, next year, right? For this convention, are, are you uh-huh. increasing that? base or w- what are you doing about that yeah so the the, the target it was as, as many as, as we can get that's the target and uh, to, to us if for example in tanzania diaspora we love to promote their service and product and i'll give a ex- few examples mm-hmm. so we have like he, it's called it's elias muita from chicago yes a travel yes, agent some, yeah it's yeah. travel ag- yeah. agent so he and he, t- he always tells us hey by being part of the quota Number one, I increased my horizon. I, I, I can reach more people. I can do business with a lot of people because of that. And, 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 and to us, again, by just knowing this is Tanzania, so even if uh, I, ca- I can get it from a- a- elsewhere, but by, pay, by giving this opportunity to this, my fellow Tanzanian, I'm going to, in, to, to uplift his well, well-being. Right, right which is going to back to reflect back to our community in Tanzania as well. Nice. So nice. it's always advantages that way. That's number one. Number two, for any other company as well. So it's like he, we are, as I said, his audience that represents representing all Tanzanians all over the country. So by just speaking to one, it means you're speaking to the whole community, the, right. the larger the larger community of Tanzania. And if something good, for sure, is going to be propagated to everyone who is, is connected to people that are attending that meeting. So it's, 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 it's win-win. It's advantage not only for, for us that we are spreading the word out there. It's also for the companies or any sponsors that is going to be part of our convention. Good. Very good. Very good. I think that's a key because, mm-hmm. yeah, we can talk about the things over there, but mm-hmm. like you said, this mm-hmm. gentleman mm-hmm. Uh, from Chicago, the right. travel agent, mm-hmm. he, he's, he has done a marvelous job mm-hmm. to this community. Right. And everybody that's talking about getting a ticket, right. um, they always come up with that. So that's another advantage, guys, mm-hmm. for... Uh, being a member of Dakota. Right. Yes, sir. Yeah, I think it should not only be confined to the ticket agent's guy. Right. <laughs> but as a uh, Tanzanian business, mm-hmm. might as well take advantage of it. That's very true. It's a very noble cause. That's very true. Uh, you know, on this time, we may be able to uh, uh, solicit callers. Mm-hmm. They, w- they can call and uh, ask questions. So we we'll probably have missed a few of them. <laughs> sure. But uh, this would not be the first one. Uh, we're going to invite... Uh, you again and for more stuff thank you yeah yeah that, 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 like like i say you just said we we are very honored to have you here mm-hmm. and uh, did you say we can ask for callers to call in yes right now? Uh, right. if if you have uh, your phone this is beyond the headline live uh, we are in minneapolis today talking to uh, ndaga he's the president of uh, dakota uh Shirikawa, tanzania and the number i can't remember the number there 612 Two two four twenty twenty. Please call in. We have I don't know a few more minutes. If you have a question about the convention that's coming, and um, can you speak about a little bit about this, the guest that we have? I think at the, at the convention. I think mm-hmm. he's one of the richest one hundred richest people in Africa. What I saw yep. last time. Yeah, in, according to Forbes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So and he's the man of the year for la- for for this year. He's the man of the year. Yep. In Africa or in no no Tanzania? for the Forbes. For the Forbes, yes. Forbes, oh. Wow, okay. Yep. So. Oh, he, he's, he's a Tanzanian? He's Tanzanian. Uh, Mohamed yeah. Jehudi. Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. He's a former also member of parliament. Oh, okay. Yeah, he does have a lot of businesses in Tanzania. And uh, he's a guest of honor. He's going to be a, a keynote, keynote speaker. Keynote speaker. Yeah, so okay. we are planning to invite the president to be the guest of honor. Oh, that's in Dallas? Yeah, in Dallas. In Dallas. Yeah, okay. president of Tanzania. So that, that, that uh, brings me to another topic I wanted to ask you maybe sure. um, so we have a new president now mm-hmm. uh, he has done 
I don't think he has been there for 100 days either. Not yet. Not yet. Mm -hmm. And he has done very good things. I, I sometimes, you know, re re look at what he has done. Right. I, I literally get up on my bed and jump and, and dance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I don't know if you had any feedback mm -hmm. yourself. I know you've mm -hmm. done a, a good job with Dakota. Mm -hmm. Do you see any light mm -hmm. to the Tanzanian um Every every day I read, you mm -hmm. know, they've found somebody else who stole something. Right, right, right. <laughs> you know, somebody else stole right. something, uh -huh. and, and 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 you ask yourself, where have these people been? Right. You know, we uh -huh. just changed uh -huh. one guy, uh -huh. and, and here we see changing. all these yep. billions mm -hmm. we've been losing. Right. Yeah. In your position, sure. What is your comment about that? Yeah, to me, I see the light at the end of the tunnel. And, and it, in Tanzania, as I keep on saying always with my friends, it's like we are potentially, we are richest country. But the only problem is how we manage our resources and how we plan for our development. That's where you have a problem. So if you get somebody like Magufuli and what he's doing, and it's just only kind of, ki kind of, of just, yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's just tightening something. Yeah. It's not yet doing something tangible for yeah. the development. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But still you are seeing what we are saving out of, out of that. So I believe if we sit down and have really strategic goals of developing our countries with all the resources that we have, yeah, we can be very far within our time. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's a very good commentary, yes. you know, especially coming from you at yeah. your position mm -hmm. because that has been lacking in the, in the you know, yeah. for, for bad or mm -hmm. whatever, but it has been lacking. Mm -hmm. and everybody complains about things not getting done, right. but nobody does anything. Yep. Petros, this, mm -hmm. this guy that came in, has a reputation of being a go-getter, mm -hmm. kind of like you know, he, yeah. he is the same. Uh, mm -hmm. And that guy in this community mm -hmm. is the same. He's, he's very uh, well respected, and is 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 carried single-handedly, I should say, this organization. Okay. So I, it's a, it's like a new, fresh air we're Be getting in yeah. yeah, because yeah. we've been um, for so long being yeah. told, complaining, mm -hmm. but nothing happens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, this should not in only stay in Tanzania mm -hmm. should come out. Be, it will be a good experience for the rest of Africa. That's very true. Uh, yeah, and uh, <coughs> with all honesty, I've never seen a very well organized and maintained organization mm -hmm. as such. Okay. So thank you. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so uh, on this note, I think uh, we'll end our today's interview okay. with Dr. Ndaga Mokabuta. And uh, we're going to have him again sometimes in the future. And uh, great, thank you. Mm -hmm. I know he had he told us that he has a busy schedule, but you know, mm -hmm. we, we forced him to be here. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. And I also like to appreciate my co hosts, Josiah Kibira, a filmmaker. In fact, uh, he might have a film coming soon, so he will be our uh, guests next time. Uh, maybe we should take this call. Uh, uh, hi, caller, are you on? on hello. 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 Yes. Go ahead, oh, please. We have Ndaga Mwakabuta in the studio. You wanna? You have a question for him? Hello. Yeah, I saw a wrong number. Okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I guess uh, it was a wrong number, but. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Again, uh, thank you for being here. And uh, we'll invite you again, as I promised, mm -hmm. and with my co-host, of course. Uh, on this note, we'll end today's program, but I will meet with a different guest next week. Until then, goodbye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Si 
Yeah, yeah. 